mate, that was an awesome start. Awesome start. And that's that shot to a normal field is probably no run. But when you get your fundamentals right, your basics right, and you're getting good positions, like you did there, then you can start to manipulate your hands to change where the ball goes. But if you're not able to get into a good position, you can't then change what you're yeah. doing. So the fact you went back, lovely weight on your back foot, lovely back foot drive, if for whatever reason there's a, a mid off, a extra cover and a point, you might be able to get there and instead of punching the ball, you're dropping and running. Yeah. So that's where having good fundamentals, you can then expand from there. Yeah. yeah? What stumps that? Yeah, cool. Like it. Okay, a little bit of risk because you're not playing with a full face, but your head's still, you're watching the ball, and that's about, yeah, rotating the strike. Because you, you've said to me you want to practice rotating the strike, I don't want you just to go through the motions and just bat. Like, I want you to do that sort of stuff. And if you get bold doing that, playing across it a bit, or you play a few bad ones, I really don't care. You've got to be willing to make a few mistakes to expand. Yeah. Yes, that's awesome. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Good, Heath. Shop boy. Okay, you bat, you're picking your bat up with a slightly closed bat face. So you have sort of like it is going to cause you to hit that way. So you're hitting him. That was a beautiful shot. Just might limit your offside play a bit if you stay like that. Just so you're aware. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yep, yep. I like that, that's different. It is, yeah, yeah, if he can make it work, yeah. It just limit. like it just depends what the player wants to be because it will, most players, shot mate, it'll limit them through there. So if they want to be able to play around the ground, they do need to fix it or change it. But yeah, it does hit, allow you to hit the ball in different areas. Good. Nice. Lovely shot, boy. Good, good. Didn't nail it, but you're moving well. Picked it up early. Okay, so pretty well played, but because I reckon this, I'm talking technique, but because your head sort of slightly got outside it, you weren't then able to like be fully balanced and then roll the ball to where you wanted it to go. Exactly, because you weren't really balanced. So getting your balance right will allow you to hit that ball through the offside or leg side by rolling your wrist. Sharp boy. Quality. It's all right, like it. Like I said, mistakes are okay. Just we're a bit slow to get on the back foot. Yeah, so what do you need to do to fix it? Yeah, yeah. And just try and be really still at release. Because if you're going forward and you need to go back, then it's quite slow to go back again. All good, mate. I like it. Easy option is to block that. Just down the wicket. But good. Shot. Good eighth. Good eighth. Feel like you're really dominant with your bottom hand at the moment. Probably because you've had time off and your let top wrist, your left side, I just said the same thing to Dave. We all get a bit sloppy and weak because it's not naturally strong. So just got to keep reminding ourselves to bring that left side in a bit. Better. Good, couple there, maybe. Good, Heath. That looks better already. Just locking and gauging your left side a bit more. Yeah, excellent bud, beautiful position. You get that right, you get that position right, and then again, you can just open the bat face, you can hit it slightly later, you can close the bat face, you can start changing where the ball goes by being in a good position. Good, good. Nice Heath, pulling well. Where's your weight? Yep, still not a whole lot wrong with that. Just what happens when you go back? Yep. So when, you, when you're pulling, you don't need to worry about being side on. 
when you're driving, you want to be side on, but when you go back, it gives you more what? Yep, and more time. Because when you're forward, you get to the ball quicker, you go back, you give yourself a little bit more time. So you, for now, it's fine, you're hitting them well, but just when you can get back, you've got more time to hit that ball. Shot, better. Where was your weight there? Yeah, and you can pivot on it. Awesome. Shot boy, it's all right. You still hit it well. The outcome's good, just yeah, you're, you can be aware of what you need to keep working on, what you did well though as well. Yeah, nice, Heath, lovely shot. All good, all good. Shot, Heath. Shot, boy. Shot! Feel good? What'd you do well? Yep, yep. Yeah, your bottom hand still was work, but it sort of hit the ball late and then extended. Fully committed to your shot too. Awesome, mate, quality, that's what you're after. Good, Heath, good batting. Just keep learning, keep exploring new things. Not bad, not bad. Where's your head? Slightly, so then again, what does that mean? Yeah, you sort of like, all you can do is stop it. Yeah. Good, good. Oh yeah, boy. Happy? Beautiful shot. See, you wouldn't have played, you wouldn't have been able to play that 20 balls ago without that left side starting to work. You would have been, that now you're engaging your left side. It's really, it really controls the bat swing. Awesome. Well left, good. Shot. Great batting. Nice, really good movement. Good. Just try for me, like in your setup, as I'm about to let go of the ball, just try dropping your right left shoulder slightly. Like, it, I reckon it's just a bit high, which can make it hard to then get your head forward. If you drop it slightly, it becomes so much easier then to really drop that head into the ball. Good, good. If you want to have an extra tap, that's fine. Just do whatever your hands want to do. But just at point of release, just try to do that little dip. Bye, boy. Oh yeah. Good, Heath. Good intent, nice shot. Bye, boy. We Not bad. Just when you're triggering, it's always the battle to not keep moving. Trigger and head still drop that shoulder. Sort of push yourself and your head, head and shoulder towards the camera a bit. Might help that you're not actually, you're not trying to keep your shoulder dead square. Like don't be afraid just to go towards mid on so that your head can stay straight. If it goes dead square, that might force your head to go over. Sharp boy. Lovely shot. Learn from it, lovely shot. Hey? Yeah, really good. That's never gonna really, your head's never gonna be a problem when the ball's fifth stump. Because that's where your head wants to fall anyway, for any player. So even if you've got a big head movement and you're like that and the ball's fifth stump, you'll be fine. Sixth stump, seventh stump, you're fine. The issue comes when it's straight. As soon as your head gets there and the ball's straight, you're in trouble, yeah? Well played, good.